If you're someone who is wondering if you need protein supplements for weight loss, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Ruma. I'm a certified fitness trainer, nutritionist, and a women's fitness specialist. And in this video, I'm going to share with you, do you really need protein supplements for weight loss? Please watch till the end to get your answer. Now, protein is a very important macronutrient. There are three macronutrients, carbohydrate, fat, and protein. And each one of them play a very, very important role in our overall overall health and metabolism. And what is metabolism? Metabolism is nothing but the energy needed by, to run the different metabolic processes in our body. For example, I'm speaking to you, it needs energy, my heart is beating, my digestive system is going on, and each of these need energy, and that is known as metabolism, and the unit of measurement is in calories, all right? Now, metabol uh, now protein play an important role in this overall, uh, you know, overall ecosystem of our health. So, uh, pro protein is the building block of our body. It, uh, it helps us, uh, you know, it helps us to build muscles. Now, when you have more muscles in the body, it needs energy for maintenance and hence your metabolism goes up. So protein, uh, protein, in, uh, protein is also an important ingredient for the synthesis of many, many hormones. Um, and protein helps us to boost metabolism and also aids in weight loss. So protein has uh, qualities and we need to have protein in our meals. But there is one place where people go all wrong. With the advent of keto diet, high protein diets, people have started thinking that if they start having more protein, they will be able to lose weight. Now, please be cautious. Have the knowledge and the awareness before you start making those changes in your life. Go buy a very expensive protein supplements and start having that. Now, normal healthy individual can get all of their protein need from regular diet. And how much protein do you really need? You, A normal human being needs one gram of protein per kg of their body weight. So that is, if I'm 60 kgs, then I need 60 grams of protein. Okay, and you can do the rest of the math. Now, this amount of protein can come from your dietary, uh, from the food that you eat. So eat plenty of food, which is rich in protein, and you will be able to cover, uh, uh, you will be able to intake how much ever protein is needed by your body. WHO has uh, given a guideline to the uh, to Indians to have protein in every meal. India is a very carb. You know, we are a country who relies a lot on carbohydrate, which is which was good many years back when our ancestors uh, used to work in the field in the farms where they used to expend a lot of that energy. With a sedentary lifestyle, so much amount of carbohydrate is not needed, but carbohydrate is needed. But the amount of protein we need has to be a little more than what we are used to having. Uh, so add protein in every meal and you will be able to get your uh, protein requirement from the food that you eat. And what are the protein sources? Protein sources for vegetarian can come from uh, paneer, and all the soya products. If you are a person suffering from hypothyroidism, you can avoid soya products. Dals, pulses, legumes are also rich in protein, but they are better sources of carbohydrates. And if you are a non-vegetarian, then your protein can come from chicken, fish, egg. Now, the mistake that people make is they rely on protein supplements, the powdered protein and Oftentimes I get this question, Ruma, can I have whey protein? I say, wait a bit, let's understand your need. Unless you are an athlete, you are a bodybuilder who lifts at least to the minimum 20 kgs in squats, in barbell squats, in whatever uh, strength exercises, you do not need protein shakes. Regular dietary protein is more than enough for you. And most Indian, 80% of the Indians do not do vigorous exercises. So chances are, if you, you do not need protein shake, you do not need supplements. Supplements are needed in clinical conditions. Say you are, um, you have a certain condition which is restricting you from eating a lot of different variety of food, or you are a person who's, um, uh, who's, um, 
you know, the whose digestive system is impaired, not exactly digestive system, but the eating patterns are impaired because of the clinical condition you have, maybe cancer or whatever, or you are, uh, or because of your age, your eating is impaired. That is when the doctor will recommend protein supplements for you. Otherwise, a normal, healthy individual who does not participate in athletic activities, doesn't participate in bodybuilding activities, you do not need protein shake. Now, what happens with protein shake is that many people, if you have too much of protein, because we also have to remember our background, our uh, you know, our ethnic background. We come from a country which is rich in vegetables and fruits. So, so an Indian digestive system is meant to digest. Uh, carbohydrates, fruits, and vegetables much better than we can digest protein. So oftentimes when we start consuming so much of uh, protein, our intestine is not able to, when we consume so much of protein, our intestine is not able to digest that. And we start having indigestion, gas, acidity, bloating, so on and so forth. So be careful about protein intake. And when it is in a liquid form, every food, that you that we eat it first goes into our mouth we chew it and the digestive process starts from here the enzymes start working on it and then it goes through our mouth through our esophagus to our stomach small intestine large intestine and then flush gets flushed out of the body now when we drink uh, when we take it in liquid form, we are not chewing it. The digestive process on the in the mouth has not happened. So the entire digestive process is truncated or shortened. Digestive process is a metabolic process and, um, and it needs energy. So the moment you drink those kind of things, half of the energy does not get consumed because you're having it in, uh, in liquid format. So whenever you have food, have proper food, have real food, do not rely on supplements. They will not help you much. At least they are not sustainable and oftentimes can have if you are a kidney patient, then it can have adverse effect on your kidney because your kidney will not be able to process so much of protein. All right. So take. Uh, uh, so my recommendation is if you want to lose weight, then follow the five healthy habits, the five pillars of healthy, uh, the five pillars of holistic health, the right nutrition habits, which is a complete balanced meal the right uh, regular exercise regime, keep your stress under control, uh, sleep for seven to eight hours every day and drink two to three liters of water every day and you will definitely lose weight. You will not have to get into any unsustainable practice of having protein shakes and a lot of protein and jeopardize your health and jeopardize your weight loss efforts as well. And if you wish to work with us, on your health and weight goals, we will be happy to work with you. Just fill up the form below and we will get in touch with you. I hope you found this valuable.